what happened with Chase? It looked like he hurt his hand. He had a little bit of a tingling in his elbow uh, on that fumble and just was kind of regaining some feeling in it. So we're just managing that, you know, so that he could go out there and be safe. Is he okay? He is. Did you feel like it affected his, his play at all? Yeah, I mean, it affected it a little bit, but I, I thought that he was outstanding in the first half seeing the game uh, on, the, on the fumble. He picked up the wolf free safety mic'd it properly. We had a running back miss the protection. Um, he was seeing the field extremely well tonight. Um, you know, they had you know a lot of pressures up in the run game and in the pass game, and I really felt like he operated well, and I thought that Easton did too. Uh, so I was pleased with how, how both those guys played, and, and I, I was pleased with Chase, you know, showing his toughness tonight, um, kind of balancing through that. It kind of came back, went back out there, and, um, you know, just really appreciate him. Is he a factor in the decision at all? No. No, they, they both, I, I thought they both operated um, like they have the whole time. I really felt like they gave us, you know, a, a chance. It was tough sledding with, with what was happening in front of them, um, but they were getting us into the right play, right protection, um, and I thought that they were accurate tonight. We just didn't get a lot of shots down the field because um, the protection wasn't holding up, but we had a couple opportunities early and uh, just weren't able to uh, stay on schedule because of penalties. Um. Obviously, resting as many guys as you had throughout the preseason, maybe you'll be playing a lot of second, third, fourth stringers. How much can you take away from the offensive production? How much do you just chalk it up to you know, the decisions you made in terms of who you're resting? Yeah, we, we, we knew exactly what we were doing tonight, and we knew how it was going to be. We wanted to make sure that we gave our guys a, a plan that they could compete with. Uh, and I felt like you know we were able to evaluate a couple things in the run game. And I thought Larry had a couple of really nice runs. Um, you know, and then I felt like we designed enough for the for the receivers who were in the game. You know, we really had four wideouts in the game, uh, and then we're leaning on a lot of tight ends. So I thought we were able to get the you know good evaluation of T. Billy, Bandy, um, Josh had a couple good catches. So uh, just appreciate those guys because of the numbers, and um, that's what this game was about was to get those guys all the looks that they could get, and um, you know, offense and defense in the kicking game, and and it's going to be good for those guys to see this film and 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 for them to truly assess where they're at. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, these guys have had a lot of kicks in the preseason, um, and so um, there's enough to evaluate. I wish I wish there were more tonight in, in that environment. I know Tristan had one. Um, I would have liked to have seen more in the second half. Uh, but you know, we've got plenty of a body of work um, with both players over the course of the spring and, and, and this training camp, and it's going to be a difficult decision, you know, um, because it's been a very fair competition and even competition, and um, we'll be, you know, really pouring over that over the next 48 hours. Do you see a scenario where you keep three quarterbacks on the on the 53 man? Yeah, I think so. I think that that can happen. Uh, I think we're going to see over the next couple of days, but um, I definitely think that um, that's a possibility. And then we'll dive into um, that those specifics here, you know, in the next couple of days. But I think uh, both of those guys are assets for our football team. How I guess worrisome is how the offensive line depth has played overall. Again, there's a lot of pressure again tonight. Trey allowed another sack and two false starts. When you look at that group, mm -hmm. something we talked about yep. know, throughout the training camp, just where where is that group at? How concerning is the depth overall in the offensive line? Yeah, I think. As you meant, you know, as we've discussed, I think, I think there are players that who who are capable. Um, you know, I I was concerned tonight about how we played. I thought we lost, you know, physically up front, um, and I didn't feel like we gave ourselves a good enough chance for our skill players and our quarterbacks to operate. And that's why I was proud of our quarterbacks. I felt like they did a really good job all night, giving us a, a chance to operate. Um, but we just we got to show more toughness, more resilience, more physicality up front, um, and more consistency. You know, and I think that um, for all those guys who are competing for spots, that's so much of the game is that consistency, the resiliency. And, um, you know, I felt like tonight um, it was a, it was an uneven performance up front for those guys. Right, what did I, I know it's, you, you'll be able to know while you look at it closer, but what did you think about Brandon face on? It looked like he had a couple, it was one, one play, he missed a tackle. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't tackle well tonight as a team. I thought we defended well tonight as a team. Uh, we put a roof over the coverages. Um, felt like, um, you know, we forced them to earn a lot of what they got. You know, I felt like there was penalties that played a big part in them staying alive in drives, which 
was unfortunate, but um, our tackling as a whole on defense and in the kicking game wasn't good enough tonight to win. Um, and, and I think if had we tackled better, I think we would have had a better chance to force the takeaways that would have maybe able to flip the momentum. But I didn't think in the secondary we tackled very well. How excited are you to get all your guys on the field for the meaningful football? Daniel, I'll say this. Um, we just had a, a great moment in there. I'm so appreciative of all 90 guys that played for us in this preseason and helped us get this off the ground. And so this is the last time that we're going to be together as a group, and it means a lot to me. It means a lot to our coaching staff, um, how we've been able to conduct this camp and the competition and them accepting us and pouring into the way we want to play. Um, and I think that over the next couple of days, um, you know, and, and, and talking to these guys uh, that may not be there, um, we're going to have a lot of honest conversations, but doing it with care, uh, thanking them, and, and then making sure they know where they need to go with their game. And then, um, you know, to answer your question about – you know, the team that w who will be here, uh, it's an exciting opportunity for us, you know, to really dive into the specifics of our team, um, the personnel and how we feel like we're going to play and, you know, really design our offense, defense, and kicking game around those 53 guys. And, and that's going to be, um, I think, exciting for our, us coaches. And I think we're going to get some rest this weekend. And then we're going to be ready to pour into those guys next weekend. And, and I know that there's a lot of guys in that locker room um, who are excited. And just going back to Chase, I just want to confirm, the whatever issue he's dealing with, you don't see it as a like, long term? It is, it's not a long term. It's just, it was, it's just one of those things where, hey, you know, you, you take a hit, and there's just a little bit of a feeling there and a little bit tingling, um, but nothing long term.